Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct just before 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on Facebook, on the computer, and on Periscope and Twitter on the iPad for tonight. Hope you've had a great holiday weekend, being decently quiet out there, not seeing a lot of problems weather-wise in the Mid-South tonight, but as we go into the course of the next couple of days, could be looking at the potential for some possible slowdowns out there, maybe some winter weather heading our direction. We'll talk more about that potential coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Not, not great chances, but again, it could be a potential thing for later on, so stick around and we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Also coming up, we'll take a look at weather where the troops are. Not everybody can make their way home for the holidays, so we'll talk more about what some of the conditions look like around the world, so stay tuned for more on that. It's going to be a chilly start to the morning tomorrow as temperatures are going to be again back in the mid-30s by the time the kids hit the bus stop in the morning. Winds won't be quite as breezy, but it is going to be brisk, and I would say there's a pretty good possibility of us getting some wind chills down into the 20s maybe even the teens into tomorrow. So again, please keep that in mind as you head out the door or get the kids ready to head out the door as well. So we'll be seeing again some possible problems out there uh, into the morning hours where it comes to temperatures. Temperatures today, again, not that bad. We were pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. And again, not doing totally terrible. 58 degrees for a high. The big thing this year is going to be the rainfall. It's nearly 70 inches and we still have a month to go. So this could wind up being a record-breaking year for rainfall, precipitation in general. We'll keep you updated on that throughout the course of the next several days and weeks out there. Travel tonight, food, making a special focus on that for this evening. If you have family or loved ones out there, things are finally starting to calm down right before 9 o'clock, but this has been a very busy view into the last couple of hours as we see, again, lots of holiday traffic in the Mid-South, even up until about just a half an hour ago. We were looking at some pretty heavy traffic here, also in West Memphis, Arkansas on I-40, some backups around the 4055 junction, and as of right now, again, things doing uh, pretty good out there for the time being. Now, wish we could say the same thing about the airplanes and the amounts of travel out there. Good visibility at Memphis International Airport, no question about that, uh, from our 240 Airways camera, live cam looking back toward the airport, not showing any visibility problems or anything going on there. Delays of 15 minutes or less, very good news for travelers to and from Memphis International Airport. Not great news across the rest of the country as we see numerous slowdowns out there, uh, including at the major and a good portion of the connecting airports for this evening and even about nine o'clock on Sunday night on the busiest travel day of the year there's still a lot of people in motion out there so still looking for the potential of again some slowdowns taking a red eye tonight or know someone who is that could be a bit of a problem out there. Some of this is weather. Some of this is just volume of people getting to where they need to go to. So there could be some late arrivals uh, into and around the rest of the morning hours into early Monday morning. So pack your patience. And also, again, definitely want to call ahead to see what's going on. More information, go to the FAA directly at fly.faa.gov. That's where we get all of this information from. So, again, Proud to bring this to you to help you know what's going on out there, but once again, use caution and a lot of patience across the area as well. Thanks to everybody for checking in for tonight. Glad to have you along. We'll talk more again about what's going on with our forecast coming up a little bit later. Not much happening. Again, some sprinkles back toward the north of Nashville, but really not much more than that. Our latest storm system is making its way across and out of the country, but it's still got a lot of power to it. And that means also some problems out there as the cold air mixes with the moisture and some winter conditions north of D.C. and Chesapeake Bay. This is where we could be seeing the problems out there with the snow on the ground. So basically anything northeast of Knoxville, if you're traveling that way north of D.C. tonight, Pennsylvania, Delaware, the Delmarva area, back toward New England, that's where you're going to be seeing the potential for slowdowns into this evening. Some ice storm conditions in parts of Pennsylvania. That's how serious a lot of this got in the last several hours. But fortunately, that's starting to calm down. Our winds are starting to calm down, but it is still breezy out there. We've seen wind gusts of around 20 miles per hour in parts of the Mid-South. 
in the last several hours, even close to 40 miles per hour. Not enough for a wind advisory. The National Weather Service canceled that, but it is still brisk and decently breezy out there with numbers just around 9 o'clock Sunday evening in the upper 30s to around the lower 40s. So we are getting, again, some decent amounts of chill out there for now. And even into tomorrow morning, again, we're going to be seeing dry conditions right on in through daybreak, but it is going to be decently cold for the kids at the school bus stop tomorrow. So keep in mind wind chill. Everybody needs to be dressed appropriately for heading out for that dr that jog, the stroll, waiting at the bus stop, walking or bike riding to school. You're going to need some decent protection from that chill out there. Rest of the morning, again, the cloud cover from the back side of that system will be sticking around. Doesn't look like much, but it could block out the sunshine enough for us to get some cool conditions out there. Lower to mid 40s is as good as we're going to get into tomorrow. That's how warm we're looking at for right now. Warming up throughout the rest of the week, yes, but once again, not all that great where it comes to all the chances of rainfall for right now. No chance of rainfall expected into tomorrow, and the computer throwing in that extra 10% on there as per usual when the moisture and the temperature kind of goes down and the humidity goes up at nighttime, but not seeing anything in the way of precipitation through Monday into Tuesday. Now, as we go toward Wednesday, we see, again, some drier conditions and temperatures pretty close to where they should be for this time of the year. So a far cry from where we're winding up on Monday. So some good news on there. Chilly for the next few days in the morning as well, 30s and mid-40s. Next best chance of rainfall looks like it's going to be coming up late Thursday into and around Friday and too warm for anything but rainfall. Bit of a break on Saturday. Temperatures, again, pretty close to normal. Warming up by next Sunday, and that precedes some even warmer temperatures by Monday. But usually a good peak is about where we start to see a major cool down taking place, and that's what we'll be seeing for Monday night next. There are some signs that as this second storm system coming through, number one is here, number two is here by next weekend, and as the colder air wraps around the backside of that system, mixing with that moisture, we may see the potential of some rain mixed with or changing over to some form of frozen precipitation. But right now, it is way too early to talk about school closings or snowman building contests or anything like that. And if you've never tried anything in the way of winter weather forecasting, I heartily urge you to give it a try. It's a very humbling experience, so give it a try for yourself if you'd like to, and please post your findings uh, if you want to make your forecast and make it public. We'll make certain to get it out there for everybody. Uh, Bill M.F. Jackson on Facebook, are we in a La Nina? Curious about our abundance of rain. I believe we're shifting between uh, the two of them, if I'm not mistaken. You can find out more from the Climate Prediction Center. If you go to NOAA.gov, they'll have an information page all about La Nidia and El Nino. We'll be bringing you updates on that as we go throughout the rest of the year. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Also, we'll be taking a look at the end of hurricane season, which happened yesterday. So we are officially out of hurricane season, but once again, we can still have some storms afterwards. So the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on that, as they always do, and we'll bring you the updates on that should it become necessary. All right, taking a look at weather where the troops are. Again, not everybody can make their way home for the holidays at this time of the year. Somebody has to be on duty and wearing the uniform, and thank you very much to all the men and women of our armed forces doing so. Taking a trip around the world Sunday evening, right about sunset, looking at temperatures in the upper 70s with mostly cloudy skies in Oahu at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam into and around Guam Anderson Air Force Base 83 degrees easterly winds at 14 and that's early Monday afternoon already over there Monday in Japan temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s around Sasebo and Atsugi and looking at temperatures in the upper 60s Cloudy skies and breezy in Okinawa for the early afternoon Monday. In South Korea, colder temperatures in the upper 30s to the mid 40s with mostly sunny skies around the DMZ. Mostly sunny in Seoul, partly to mostly cloudy throughout the rest of the South Korean Peninsula area. Iraq temperatures in the upper 40s to mid to upper 50s to lower 60s with some rain showers reported around Baghdad from early this morning. Afghanistan just past sunrise and temperatures chilly. 28 degrees and Kabul, 31 in Faizabad, 
35 in Herat, and 38 with partly cloudy skies around Kandahar. Into around the Persian Gulf, pretty mild, a little cooler in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia right before sunrise on Monday morning. 60s and 70s from Kuwait. Doha and back down toward Bahrain into Di uh, Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. Decently tropical, as you might expect. Temperatures back in the mid-80s. Easterly winds at 3 early Monday morning. And heading toward the former Yugoslavia, 30s and 40s for the most part. A few 20s up around Pristina. Camp Bonsteel out there in the former Yugoslavia, back in the lower 40s for the most part there. Europe and the Mediterranean in the 30s. 20s around Pristina again, and 40s with rain around Aviano in Italy. Greenland, pretty chilly up that direction. Not bad on the wind gusts so far, but 14 miles per hour is 10 degrees below the high of 24 on northwest Greenland up at Patuffet Airport airport area there. Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, 77 with mostly cloudy skies. Northwest winds at about 7 miles an hour off the eastern tip of Cuba. And rounding for home, heading for naval support activity mid-south. Winds again breezy out of the west-northwest, partly to mostly cloudy skies and temperatures back in the lower 40s in Millington, Tennessee in the northern part of Shelby County. This and tons more weather information available around the world from the World Meteorological Organization. All that data we just showed you is not top secret. You can pick it up any place for free on the web, and this is the best place to get it, public.wmo.int. Great opportunity to learn more about what goes on out there. Don't forget to check out our latest podcast from the News Channel 3 weather experts about emotional terror during severe weather, about what it's like for us to be here doing severe weather, and also, again, keeping you safe out there, and your complete forecast update that's all available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to check and see what's going on and can't get near a TV set. Or catch one of our radio forecasts out there as well. Rest of tomorrow morning, chilly, breezy, dry, no precipitation seen, but we could again see the possibility of some clouds, excuse me, drifting on through parts of the area and otherwise winds calming down. It is going to take a while again for all that wind to kind of really calm down into tomorrow, but a breezy, chilly, dry start to the area as we get into very early tomorrow morning. So we could see, again, some pretty chilly conditions out there throughout the rest of the morning. Again, maybe some winter weather heading our way well down the pike. We'll talk about that throughout the course of the next several days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on that. Questions, concerns, ideas, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to know what you're thinking of and if there's something on here you would like to see. Now, as of right now, we are going to be seeing, again, some quiet conditions for the time being. We'll keep you updated on what we could be seeing coming up a little bit later on. If you have any concerns, Concerns about the weather tomorrow morning. Todd Demers will be on bright and early. News Channel 3 Daybreak at 4.30. And we'll be on a little later tonight. Thanks to the NFL, we'll be starting about 10.30 for News Channel 3 at 10, late edition. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you all for joining us tonight on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook. Glad to have you along for the ride. And stick around for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the first week of December and beyond. Thanks for joining us.